Now the first bar at the top of the page is what we call a pickup bar. So there's no chord behind this bar. If there was a, another guitarist or another instrumentalist, they wouldn't play here. You'd play two notes on your own here. Now the two notes are G and A. Now the G is open G and the A is second fret of the G. There's a sign above the G note which is a plectrum downstroke. Now we've been doing those so far. This is where the plectrum's on top of the string and you push down on the string to play it. So that's how you play your first note. And the A, the second note, second finger, remember on the G strings, second fret, that's played with an up stroke. An up stroke is shown as a V. The down stroke is the other sign there on top of the G, but the V is the up stroke. So this time, having play the G string open, your plectrum is already underneath that string. You're going to play that string again, albeit with the second finger behind the second fret, with an upstroke. So down and then up. Down and up. Now it's a good habit to get into, to use your plectrum properly right from the start. Um, I wouldn't really suggest using your thumb or your fingers to play tunes. If you're playing with other musicians, you won't be heard if you use your fingers or your thumb. You stand a chance of being heard if you use a plectrum. So get into this. If you're a bit worried about it, just practice and it will come. Just so you know, that tiny number two by the A note, that's the second finger of the left hand. And you've got the names of the notes underneath the notes, G and A. Now it's four, four time, four beats of the bar. This is a pickup bar and you're going to come in on the fourth beat. So you're going to go one, two, three. One, two, three, four, up. Now, when you go to the next stave where you've got that A in the box, that is going to be the start of the A section. There's an A section and a B section. So this is the A section, pretty obviously, that we're going to start with. It doesn't really get going until you've played that pickup bar. And the pickup bar, because it's incomplete, is bar naught. Bar one is the one we're about to play, the first complete bar. So let's have a listen to this first complete bar. Now the notes are B, G, B, C, A, C. And you can see that you have a filled in note of the stem, that's a crotchet, so that's a whole beat. Then you've got two notes joined together, they are quavers like the two notes in the pickup bar. And then you've got a crotchet and then you've got two quavers. The way you're going to count that is one, two, uh, three, four. Uh. Notice the one, two, three, four are always on the beat. So it's one, two, uh, three, four. Uh. Okay? Now let's have a look at the notes. B, open B, G, open G, both down strokes. And then B, open B again, up stroke. C, first fret of the B string. That's a down stroke. And then A, second fret of the G string. Also a down stroke, and then C again with an upstroke. Basically, the way it works is that all the downstrokes fall on the beat. So if I just play the notes that have downstrokes, one, two, three, four, and all the notes that fall off the beat are played with the upstroke. You see? So you've got one, two, a uh, three, four, uh. Now, when you're playing open strings, Inevitably, they're going to ring on. It's only when you fret notes, where you put your fingers on the strings behind the frets, that you can control how long they last for, their sustain. So don't worry if you get notes overlapping a bit. It really doesn't matter. And notice when I do that, that second half of the bar, I make a little shape there, and that's absolutely fine. You don't have to play every single note separately. If you make a little shape there momentarily, that's not a bad thing. Remember to keep pressing hard and to keep arching your fingers. If your fingers get sore, obviously don't keep going and going to their absolutely red raw. But you know, practice will toughen them up. But you know, you have to sort of be a bit clever here. If it starts to really hurt, then you need to stop 